We often learn important lessons from the men in our lives, like fathers, uncles, godfathers, teachers, and mentors. My own father passed away nearly 10 years ago, and my father-in-law before him. Even though they are no longer here, I find myself constantly learning from the things they taught me. Their wisdom and guidance continue to influence me every day, showing me that the lessons we learn from our loved ones can last a lifetime. When I was about to start kindergarten, my dad and I shared a special father-son moment together. We sat down right in the middle of the hallway on the floor. My dad, who was a scientist studying outer space, shared something important with me. He told me that he believed God is real because he could see the wonders of creation through his work. That conversation was my very first introduction to the idea of God. As I grew older, my dad and I created another tradition we called the 10 o'clock special. This was our unique recipe where we mixed together whatever leftovers we had with cream of mushroom soup. Then we poured over a fried egg with melted American cheese on an English muffin. It was a quirky, delicious creation that we both looked forward to. That experience, sharing those creative meals with my dad, is probably why I have such a love for cooking today. The time spent in the kitchen and the joy of making something new helped me see cooking as a way to be creative and connect with others, just like I connected with my dad. My father was the one who taught me how to appreciate humor. I still remember one particular joke from him that I use every day, including today. The first time he told it to me, I laughed so much that I ended up with the hiccups. Picture this, we're in a restaurant having a cup of coffee and I ask why you cream costs more than milk. So I ask again, I ask you why cream costs more than milk. Most people either don't know or miss the point of the question. Then I gesture to the small creamer on the table and say, can you imagine a cow trying to sit on this? My father taught me a lot about marriage. He had a rule of all children and he called it MMH, which stands for make mom happy. This rule showed the strong unity between my mom and dad and was the most important rule in our house. It taught me about being committed to my wife and being loyal to marriage, which is an institution created by God. When I conduct wedding ceremonies, I focus on this unity in marriage that my father taught me by giving the couple a Bible with Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22 through 33 highlighted, and I use those verses during the ceremony. I also add a bit of humor because that's just part of who I am. I'll be doing this again soon for my nephew and his fiancée at their upcoming wedding, if all goes as planned. Essentially, my dad taught me about God's intention and design for marriage. Father's Day is a special occasion to celebrate and appreciate the important role that fathers play in our lives. This day takes an extra significance when we consider it from a Christian perspective, which highlights God's design for fathers. God is often called the Father, which shows us that He is the ultimate example of what a good Father should be. This is evident in how Jesus referred to God as His Father, emphasizing a deep and loving relationship. This idea is based on scriptures like Matthew chapter 6, verse 9, where Jesus teaches us to pray by saying, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name showing us that God is a father to us all. The Bible says that humans are made in the image of God, as we see in Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. This teaches us that fathers are meant to reflect God's character. They are called to show love, kindness, and patience, qualities that God himself shows. For example, in the story of the prodigal son in Luke, chapter 15, verse 11 through 32, 
we see a father who welcomes his lost son back with open arms and forgiveness, demonstrating great love and mercy, just as God does with us. God also designed fathers to be providers and protectors. In Philippians chapter 4, verse 19, it says, And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Fathers are encouraged to provide for their children's needs and protect them, much like God provides for and protects us. An example of this can be seen in how Joseph, the earthly father of Jesus, protected Mary and baby Jesus by taking them to Egypt when Herod was seeking to kill the child. And that's in Matthew chapter 2, verse 13 through 14. Leadership is another important role for fathers. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 4 instructs fathers, saying, Fathers, do not exacerbate your children. Instead, bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. This means fathers should lead by good example, showing virtues like honesty and integrity. For instance, Abraham's willingness to follow God's command in Genesis chapter 22, verse 1 through 19, teaches us about the obedience and faith qualities that fathers can pass down to their children. Lastly, fathers are called to nurture and support their children. In 1st of Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 11 through 12, it describes how fathers should deal with their children, encouraging, comforting, and urging them to live lives worthy of God. A nurturing father is like a shepherd caring for his flock, always looking out for their well-being. On Father's Day, we honor fathers for embodying God's character, caring for their families, leading with integrity, and nurturing their children. It's a day to show gratitude for their love and the positive impact they have on our lives. Celebrating this day helps us recognize the special bond shared between fathers and children and the significant role fathers have in shaping our lives for the better. Amen, amen.